I'm using part of my lunch break to talk about that absolutely horrendous game yesterday. I just, I don't know what to say. It could only be us. Whoop, the camera's a bit off there. There we go. It could only be us that could beat PSG and Leipzig and lose against, um, I was going to say Krasendor, it's bloody Istanbul. But still, I mean, they're not a bad team. They played well against PSG, but uh, they did lose 2-0. They were a little bit unlucky in that one. But still, you... You know, it, on paper, it's the easiest game, and we, we failed to win it. And not only did we fail to win, there was no visible system, there was no fight, desire, uh, the tactics were not great in this one, if there was any. Um, you know, we managed to give a 35 year old Denver Bar 75 yards of space for the first goal. It's the most comical goal all season. I don't understand, like, how. how like there's 10 players on the pitch that are outfield how is not one of them telling someone Matic or Twanzebe or Maguire or whoever or one of the fullbacks to like sit at the halfway line so that goal can't go in like it's absurd it's absolutely absurd considering we had a goal where Rashford was in his own half and he was uh, beyond the last man in the last Champions League game I just don't understand how, you know, you can't be offside in your own half. Surely someone in our team must know that. It, it, oh. But yeah, it, it set the president for another poor performance uh, after that goal went in. And yeah, I mean, d deservedly so. Istanbul managed to get a second goal. Uh, they, they ran down the left wing. I think it was Bar again. No, it wasn't actually, sorry. They passed the ball in, Bar faked it, and it went through to Visca, who just slammed it in. I felt really sorry for Dean Henderson. Uh, this is his Champions League debut. There's not much he could do about either of the goals, to be honest, uh, particularly the first one. I mean, phew, throwing back the years for Denver Bar there, giving him that much space. He's not that fast anymore. <laughs> like, if anyone had been anywhere near him, like, even within five yards of him, that goal wouldn't have went in, because he would have just had too far to run. But, um... Uh, but yeah, the second one went in and uh, it looked dead and very dead. But thankfully, a couple of minutes later, you know, our only piece of quality really in the first half, uh, Shaw gets a lovely cross in and it's a very nice header from Martial. It's the best thing he's done this season. Uh, he's had a he's had a poor start. Uh, obviously, the red card didn't help. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he really needs to kick on now. I know he scored two uh, because of the penalty uh, in the Champions League in the last game. But yeah, he, he, he's not the only one. I'm not having a go at just Martial. Uh, just, yeah, it was nice to see him score this, uh, this type of goal because, yeah, it was a difficult header in fairness. Um, but pff, the second half started. We didn't make any notable changes. I know Twanzebe went off uh, for McTominay. But in terms of the forwards, there wasn't really any changes. Um, we waited until about the 60th minute, I think. And then we brought on Edison Cavani and Greenwood. And... This this was a problem. Not the players that we brought on. Just I don't know where they fitted in. Like it genuinely did look. And you know I'm a firm believer in Ollie, and I still am. I still am. I'm still Ollie in. But it did genuinely look as though Ollie just threw them on because they were the best players uh, on the bench. It, like I don't know what the system was supposed to be because uh, you know we had Martial. Wait there. I'm trying to remember who got. Um, who got subbed off for what player? It wasn't Greenwood, sorry, who came on first, was it? It was someone else. It was Pogba. Sorry, it was Pogba and Cavani who came on for um, Mata and... fuck's sake, who's the other one? I genuinely cannot remember, for fuck's sake. Mata and... <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, it wasn't one of the forwards. My mind's just went completely blank. But, yeah, Martial, Rashford um, and Cavani were playing up front. Um, it looked as though Martial might have been pushed to the right wing. Oh, Pogba came on for Donny van der Beek, which I thought was a bit surprising, really, because alongside Bruno Fernandes, those two looked as though they were going to create something. Um, you know, they, they were the best players on the pitch for me. Um, you know, Fernandes had a few little intricate spells. Um, there was one where he skinned two or three Istanbul players, but then... I think he delayed his pass because he thought Rashford was offside and it did look as though Rashford was offside. And because he did that, he he didn't have anything else to do, so he ended up losing the ball, uh, which was a bit of a shame. But yeah, Donny was playing some really, really nice one-touch football. You know, 
it, it's a shame that he got uh, hauled off because uh, again I feel like if anyone was going to unlock the door it was him even though he was forced to play in CDM um, when we made our change and McTominay came on for Twanza Bay so yeah it, it was just weird um, and then was it oh, it was Rashford wasn't it who came off for Greenwood yeah and then again I, I don't know where the players were playing it, it's so hard to judge um, even at the start I don't I don't know where you know was Mata supposed to be central with Bruno kind of uh, on the right Donny on the left kind of like three cams but that sort of thing I don't know I have no idea with Matt it's just a sole uh, DM whatever was supposed to happen it didn't work and it didn't look as though we were going to get into back into the game and we didn't we didn't really create anything um, w one thing that did annoy me as well we brought on Cavani and we crossed the ball once like Cavani is an exceptional uh, striker he he's intelligent he knows when to make runs and that sort of thing and we just we didn't play it to his strengths at all and it's really annoying because he's looked bright in his first couple of outings but in this one I'd, I'd think he got like two touches when he came on but it's not really down to him uh, he just never got fed the ball in the correct areas it, we were just trying to be too intricate playing it through the middle instead of trying to play it out wide get some crosses in I, I, I don't know I genuinely don't understand um, but yeah it, it's just us this season it really is like to go out beat PSG beat Leipzig and then lose to uh, Istanbul who we've got next week at Old Trafford again this ends our 10 game unbeaten streak well our 10 game winning streak away from home um, our home form has been horrendous of course for whatever reason probably because there's no fans but still it's no excuse so you know it's worrying though because if we do drop points against Istanbul again Leipzig beat PSG the likelihood is PSG will probably beat Leipzig in the next game if that happens and we say we even draw um, against Istanbul that will put us on seven points with PSG and Leipzig both being on six and we still have to play PSG and Leipzig again honestly despite our really really strong start it's worrying it is we need to win the next game then that'll put us on nine points even if PSG win they're on six all we need really is someone to draw uh, one of those two teams or us to draw and that should be enough for qualification really because of some of the other results but yeah it's worrying best case scenario for us now is that we pick up three points against Istanbul and Leipzig pick up another three points against PSG putting us both on nine and PSG on uh, three Meaning that, you know, bar an upturn in goal difference, PSG can't really qualify and us to do. That's the best case scenario at the minute. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I guess we'll see. Or actually, no. Yeah, yeah, that is the best case. Because then, it, you know, if there's a draw and we go on nine, if we beat Istanbul, Le Leipzig on seven, PSG on four, there's still the potential for us to not qualify there. So yeah. Another Leipzig win and a win for us is best case scenario in the Champions League, meaning that we're effectively qualified after match day four. But yeah, who knows? We've got Everton on the weekend and there's a lot of uh, reports coming out that, you know, if Oli has a bad result in that, then he might be gone, um, which it doesn't surprise me, to be honest. I don't agree with it, but, you know, Ed Woodward uh, likes, you know, wielding the axe, I suppose. And I mean... I'm all in, but I, I, I can understand why some people aren't and why they're confused and why they can't look at the long-term vision. I understand just, yeah, it, it's such a an awkward position to be in as a United fan. It really is. Um, so, yeah, let's hope we get a good result against Everton because if we don't, yeah, it, it's probably Oli gone, really. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um yeah, it, it's, I don't know, it's just such a weird scenario. Ugh. I don't think Tears will be able to play either, uh, even if he comes back with a negative COVID test. It's probably a little bit early for him. He'll probably be uh, on the bench. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see.